we have um, Mercury coming in and joining the party. Um, you know, the moon is over here in Leo, um, you know, in a, in a square to Jupiter, but Mercury has come in, um, it's left Aries, and um, it's over there in Taurus. So um, after it's met with Chiron at 21 degrees, it'll come into Taurus. It doesn't have much dignity um, in, uh, in Taurus. It is, um, it's one of the Deccan rulers, right? The first, uh, no, the moon is right there. I'll be quiet. Yeah, it rules the first decan with Venus and the second decan with the Moon. So when I'm looking at the double rulerships, it has a bit more. So while it's going fast, we've, we've got it ruling for about two thirds of it. If we look at a double rulership scheme. And it's out of the shadow of retrograde at this point. So it's, it's, uh, it's fully reborn and it's and the comforts of the, the Venus temple. Um, you want to say some quick words on this? Because we've got a handful of slides to go before the meditation. Yeah, we've got that square to Pluto again. Um, I'm, I'm thinking about like passionate probing minds, deep insights and um, like really persuasive communications, like everything really being possible in terms of like the mental sphere with Mercury and Pluto coming together, but also the shadow side. When I was trying to think of archetypes, I was thinking of like the magician of, of Mercury. And then, okay, what, what happens when the magician goes wrong or the chaos magician comes in or something? I was thinking of maybe like a Harry Potter villain type, like Voldemort or something. <laughs> um, as the, the chaos magician who's just like causing trouble everywhere he goes um, <laughs> as an archetype there. This is Voldemort's chart secretly, yeah. yeah. He's a Taurus. <laughs> oh, he All the baddies are Tauruses. <laughs> we got Hitler and Voldemort. 